everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, got this box from Amazon. I'll tell you what it is. It's a it's a camp stove, one of those cooking stoves that uh, about a thousand other people have reviewed um, for the last year, anyway. But there's so many different brands of these, and I'll get into that here in a minute. So stick around. Let's check this thing out. Okay guys, so this is a cheap stove. I'll tell you what I gave for it. Well, the brand of this one is Yesport. Y-A-E-S-P-O-R-T. Now there was another one. There's, uh, you can get different styles. Like you can get, this one's just the stainless steel, but you can get them in titanium, which they're around double the price. And I'll tell you the price. This one was twenty one ninety nine. It was twenty two dollars. It was six dollars five ninety nine in shipping and handling, and then tax was a dollar thirty two. So it came out to twenty nine thirty. So you know probably well the tax would be a little bit more on the more expensive one, the titanium one. Um, they go by a couple different names, but it's all pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and open this. Um, like I said, so many people have reviewed these. Uh, one, one review I watched was Kent Survival, which I unsubbed from him for various reasons. But anyway, uh, he did one and he he felt it seemed rickety, is what he called it. Um, well, I mean, this is not <laughs> it's just meant to be thrown around in a backpack or, you know, in your camping gear. It's it's not something you're going to set up and use for the next five or ten years, you know. So, that's all deflated. <laughs> Fat lot of good that did, right? All right, it is heavy. We're going to weigh it. Come on, man. Made in China to the United States. So what it is, is the seller buys these and resells them. So it does come in a pack. Like I said, it, 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 is, it is pretty heavy. Okay. Let's check the bag out. Um, yeah, see, it's, it's not real good quality. I mean... I don't know if you can see that or not. Shoot, I forgot to put my light over here. Right, hopefully that'll be okay. Um, it's already a rip here. Look at that. This is crap. I, I will let them know. There's one starting over here. I mean, if it does that through shipping, what's, what's this bag going to be like? you know after being in a pack or in your stuff for a couple weeks being moved around starting to come through there oh geez all right let's open this up this blue color is just the uh the protective coating they put on it Look at that. You know what? I'm not even going to review this. I'm sending it straight the fuck back. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Nope. Alright. So, we'll just be... We'll make this a review of the shit that you get nowadays. 30 bucks. Thirty bucks, and this is what they send you. No, guys, that's not supposed to be bent like that. Look at that. 
That's ridiculous. The box. <sighs> Uh, you know what? I gotta calm down. I'm gonna send this seller a message. I mean, this is the crap. And I know my haters. Well, what do you expect for 30 bucks? Something that's not already broke. That's already been up. I mean, that's what I expect. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys. So I put in for a return. This is ridiculous. You know, I just, you know, come on. Look at this. This all bent out here. You can see it right here. That's all bent out. This is, this is what gets me. How do you not see that? How do you not see that? Throw it in a box. But, how do you not see that and go, you know what? I mean, it wasn't taped or anything. You saw that. How, how do you see that and not go, you know what? I better check this before I put it in this box that is undamaged. So it didn't happen during shipping. And I let them know that. This box is not damaged whatsoever. This box is. Damaged. Damaged. Look at this thing. I mean, this is junk. I can't I can't believe that. Look at that. That is crazy. And that's what from jamming this in there or is that from just being shipped I mean but like I said the shipping box there's nothing wrong with this shipping box so how can it be that they didn't see that I mean clearly this was down you know this was down there like this but why is this bent out why has that been out? I've never, ever had this much problem with eBay sellers. Ever. Look at that. How's that get been out, you know? It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So, I'm gonna box it up. But see, the thing about it is, you know, some people will say, well, what are you griping for? Just send it back. Because, you know, I got to get, you, you know, I got to take time out of my day to go to the UPS store, you know, let them scan it. You know, I don't have to pay for return. But, you know, to go to the UPS store that's like three miles away, that's six mile round trip, that's, that's our gas we're using. Our time out of our day take this back now I got to order another one from somebody else and hopefully I don't get junk like this I did a video review on it yeah I'm not happy this is junk this is junk how can people even sell this stuff and call themselves oh I'm a great seller you know I mean as far as the product itself, I can't review it. I just can't review it. I mean, look, look at that. That's meant so bad. See how that one lays right up against it? Look at this one. That's how bad that's meant. You know, I'm not going to keep that and review it. It was only 30 bucks. But, um... Anyway, like I was saying, you know, like uh, Kent Survival reviewed it and he said it was chintzy. Which, I get, these things are chintzy. I get it. They're almost all of them are chintzy. Or rickety is what he called it. Uh, yeah, most of them are. I agree with that. But, you know, what I was trying to do 
was review something for the normal person that can't go out and afford to buy a $150 little stove like this. You know, like that guy can. You know, he's always, everybody's got to have the best of the best. And they go, oh, link's in the description below. Who can afford this? Uh, Simon, a bloke in the woods. Yesterday, I think it was, was talking about one of his favorite, he had all his hammocks set up, but one of his favorites, I looked it up, he says, yeah, it's pricey, but it's well worth it. 350 freaking dollars for a damn hammock tent? 350 bucks. Who can afford that? Them guys can? Great. I like doing stuff like this, so, you know, maybe to help out the person that wants, you know, like Kent Survival says, well, you know, it's great for a beginner stove. Well, stove's a stove, you know? I mean, come on, dude. You know, people can't afford that stuff. They can't afford that. You know, it's hard, it's hard for us to afford this. 30 bucks. $29.30 some cents or whatever. 30 bucks. Now we're gonna use what? A dollar or two for gas and my time? Like my time don't matter. My time, you know, is, is not important. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. But it's going back. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. So, you know, I can give the seller a zero or one star because they don't allow zeros. Uh, as far as a product, I don't know what the hell caused this. I forgot to put it in the bag. I don't know what caused that, that ripping and this being dented like that when the box wasn't. The shipping box was not. I don't understand. I, I just don't get it. Uh, you know, craftsmanship nowadays, it sucks. I don't care what you buy. I don't care what you buy, it sucks. You know, I can't afford to go buy a $100 little camp stove to throw in my backpack. I just can't do it, and the normal person can't either. And that's what makes me mad is, ah, oh, what do they expect? They throw it around. What do they expect? It's only 20 bucks. Well, I expect it to be what you're showing in the pictures and what you're claiming it's gonna be. Uh, that's what I expect. That is exactly what I expect. I don't expect to get it, open it up, and already have it ripped. That's not character. I want to give it my own character to where if there's a rip there, I can say, hey, you know, I ripped that. You know, by hiking with Monkey to whatever. I don't know how that happened. I don't want that. If I want damaged products, you know, in this kind of shape, I'll go to a junkyard. I'll go to a junk store. I find better stuff in secondhand thrift stores than I bought off, it, off of Amazon lately. This, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. If I seen this at a yard sale, hey, it's brand new, it's never used, it's damaged. I wouldn't get $5 for this. It's damaged. You know? God, the hell's wrong with people anymore? Nobody cares about nothing. I mean, it's ridiculous. Have you guys seen my homemade barbecue grill? I mean, I took pride in that. I'm proud of that grill. I worked my ass off on it. I worked hard on it. And it's for me, let alone somebody else. I tried to make it as flawless as I could. These guys don't care, you know. Like I said, the product, I don't know. I, you know, like the Can Survival, he ended up liking it and said, yeah, okay, I would have recommended it to a beginner or a novice or whatever. But <coughs> I can't even... I can't even use, I can't, you know, I shouldn't have to do body work on something. If you buy a new car, even if it's a cheap one, are you going to have, are you going to want to take it home and bang out the dents in the fenders? Why is this any different? I shouldn't have to do that. You know, are you going to want to take that car home and have to sew the seats up because there's a couple rips in it? I shouldn't have to do that to this. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So, Monkey's going to be disappointed. You know, I've been wanting one of these because I, I love cooking on fire. And, like, if it's too windy or, you know, there's some places you can go where they don't want you to have fire, but you can use one of these. They don't want open fires. Uh, it'd be great for. And I would use this a lot. And then my gas 
like my little gas burner stove here, which is great, you know, that would come in handy. This comes in handy. Um, I've already used it, but like if it's raining and I can't use this this one here, I thought, you know, then I can use this one, you know, in the tent if I have to, you know, because there, there was that one time we were cooking. I barely got, we were camping and I was cooking. I barely got the food done. We had to eat in the tent, but it just barely got done. It started a downpour to where, you know, something like this, you can just bring in the tent with you. Of course, as long as you're careful, I'm not going over that. That's, you know, but I do like, you know, I do like these. I, I, I've had them before, not this style. I've had different ones um, that you had to put all together and stuff, which kind of sucked. I like this because you just open it up and it's, it's pretty much together. You just open it up and put your grill on, you're good to go. Um, but I've had, you know, the little ones and uh, I liked them. There's just something about cooking on a fire when I'm out in the woods I really enjoy. You know, like I said, this is great. You know, this is great. It's light. It's great for backpackers. This is kind of heavy. I guarantee this probably weighs two pounds. Well, in fact, I think it said 1.9 pounds. That's about right. Um, so, you know, like you wouldn't want this if, if you were, you know, on a four-day hiking trip or, or whatever, which I was going to get into that. But if you're backpacking in, going to spend a night or two and then backpacking out, this would be fine, you know. If, if you're going to, you know, backpack for eight or nine hours pitch a quick tent, grab a bite to eat, go to sleep, and get up the next day and do it again. No, you wouldn't want this. You wouldn't want this. But you're going back, pack in maybe even an hour or so, an hour or two even, to your campsite, and then you're going to set up your campsite, and you're going to hang out even overnight and just backpack out. This would be fine for that. But, man, I mean, because, you know, this you don't have to carry any fuel with you. You know, this, this stove here... You know, you got to carry fuel. Of course, they make smaller cans of this, but I wanted a decent sized one. But you still got to carry fuel. And transient stoves, you know, you got to carry some kind of alcohol. It's an alcohol stove, by the way. For those of you that don't know, you know, you got to carry fuel with it, you know. Um, this, you don't. You throw it in your backpack and be gone, you know. You take twigs, you know, from around your camp area. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man of Ledge. I'm gone for now. Amazon's starting to suck. I mean, geez. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe and take care.